Facebook friends and open water swimmers, triathletes, swimmers, fitness swimmers. Uh, I have a top tip. I guess you could call it a top secret tip, uh, but uh, I want you to follow me logically here uh, through how to work on whether or not if you're still struggling with breathing while swimming freestyle, how to work on this. Okay, so here's one of my, we'll call it one of my top tips, and it is this. If one of the reasons you're still struggling with breathing uh, during freestyle is your lead, the arm that's leading the way at the front of your stroke, while you're taking your breath, you are propping yourself up by pressing down on the water. Follow me kind of logically here. So here's what, what happens. We take some strokes, right? And then because we're struggling to breathe, okay, we do, the, we do like this. We push down to get your head up out of the water. We push down on the water. Now think about this. You're pressing down on the water, on like a fluid. You don't get any lift from doing that. And consequently, here's what happens. You push down like this. You're able to get a little bit of a breath, but then you start to sink, which actually shortens the amount of time that you have to get in a good breath of air. Instead, here's what I propose you do. It's take my mantra, or the swim smooth mantra, we could call it, of bubble, bubble, breathe. Okay, this is where we breathe every third stroke, where it essentially goes like this. Stroke, stroke, breathe, stroke, stroke, breathe, alternating sides, but we say you say to yourself in your mind, uh, you have this little mantra of bubble, bubble, breathe, bubble, bubble, breathe. Okay, the word bubble is to remind you to exhale, okay, and then just simply turn your head to the side to breathe. But let's take that one step further, is instead of bubble, bubble, breathe only, okay, because you could still be bubble, bubble, breathe, and push, okay, we don't want to do that, so instead, let's go bubble, bubble, stretch, okay, bubble, bubble, stretch, you will actually feel, or with some practice, you will feel more stable with a stretch at the front of the stroke, a little hesitation, not a glide, okay, not a glide, but a little hesitation at the front of the stroke, than you will by pressing down, all right? So that's my top secret tip. Try that bubble, bubble, stretch, or incorporate a little bit more of a hesitation while you're turning your head to the side to breathe at the front end of your stroke, okay? That is not the end all be all of reasons of why you might still be struggling uh, with your breathing um, while swimming freestyle. I mean, you could have, there's, there's many, many things. You could have um, uh, a lack of uh, stability through your core. You could have like, a, uh, core stability. You could have a really nasty scissor leg kick, but try that one first because you'll actually find that you feel a little more comfortable with a bit of a stretch and a hesitation while breathing. And what that does is that little hesitation gives you a fraction of a second longer to get a full breath of air in. Okay? So practice that. Try that in two or three of your next swim sessions. And if that doesn't work, shoot me a message down below and uh, let's connect, let's figure, out, let's figure out what is holding you back with your swimming, okay? Make it a great Tuesday, everybody. I'm about to jump into our squad session, Technique Tuesday, okay? And this is something that I'm gonna have our squad here thinking about. All right, peace out.